So you're probably wondering what are we even doing with this car? Well, it's coming. A friend of mine, Mike, um, started off as a customer. We've done a G-Wagon for him. And he's actually got another G-Wagon in for conversion, but anyway, I digress. He wants his one, two, three, a little bit of power upgrade. So it's got, this is a common conversion that was done back in the day, STT turbo kit. Now the turbo gave the standard engine some more air, which was great, but the pump side of things was never really modified. Um, I think in some cases they did turn the pump up a bit, but obviously it was still the same small elements and all the rest of it. So it was never capable of really actually you know, putting that turbo to good use. Shut up! <laughs> um, so, what we're doing today is we've dynoed it, as you will see. Now, 617 standard pump, take it away. Oh, you can hear that five cylinders of fury starting to build up there. Oh, baby. There it goes. The STT turbo kit of dreams. And here she goes. Oh my lordy. She's peaked. She's peaked. You left it a little bit lower that time. It was being too conservative. I had to let it go. Let it sing. Let it eat. Just wait for it to load. Oh yes, right, okay, so we got, wow, 106 pounds feet, 56.6 at the wheel and 82 at the engine. And what boost did we make? Ooh, a total of one bar. That is phenomenal. Right, custom pump time, and let's see what we can squeeze out of this bad boy. So long. And the amazing result of whatever it was, 57 horsepower, 58.6 at the wheel, and 83 at the engine, 108 pounds for your torque. And what did we make a maximum of? 1.05 bars of boost. Um, we're going to increase that by putting on a bigger pump. Now, we're not gonna go mad with it because Mike doesn't wanna ruin the engine. So we're just gonna give it a mild increase. I would imagine that this pump, I mean, factory specs on it are somewhere like 35 cc's max. Um, so I would imagine if, even if we went up to something like 60 cc's with a shorter injector duration, um, we're gonna be, we're gonna be really getting a good power gain. Now for taking the pumps off the 617 engines, you don't have to take anything off the front at all. It's not like an OM606 and it doesn't have a timing offset internally so you're literally gonna unbolt the three bolts at the back he loves making noise uh, three bolts at the back um, and there's one right at the bottom underneath injector lines off and slide the pump out but make sure obviously you're uh, you're on 22 degrees before top dead center before you do that and um, we'll go and get the modified pump and Tristan here is going to take over and remove the pump and then put the new one on. And then we're gonna see big power gains, big. All of the horse power. Big, yeah. right, need a pump, need a pump. Mm, Mike. Perfect. Perfecto. This is a little bit messy, isn't it? Oh, why do they have to be so early? Mmm. That aluminium's a little bit tarnished, but overall, bloody beautiful. Look at that anti-jerk plate on the side of there. We don't actually utilise the anti-jerk system on these. It's more for a better seal and a better a better side plate. But this is the pump that's going on it. Let's do it. So here we go. Old pump versus new pump. Rocker cover, rocker cover is off because it helps us just find the, uh, the correct orientation of the engine. And also, this needs a valve adjustment anyway. Um, and there you can see, that's where the pump gets pulled off three bolts. Um, as you may be aware, this is a, an M pump. This is the, uh, the European style, different to the Turbo 617 pump. And if you buy uh, a Performance 617 pump from us, that's what you'll get. And that is interchangeable. You can take off your MW pump and fit that on. 
Um, in some cases, uh, you will have a shorter one of these and you have to take that nut off and, and put the one off your pump onto there. But apart from that, it's, it's all really straightforward. So the great thing about these engines, you don't have to take any of the front end off. Everything comes out the back. It has like a little sliding spline, which is, which is there, just like a double-ended spline. And that goes onto the front of the pump and the other end of it goes onto the engine. Now, there are two positions to make sure the timing, the marking's right. As you can see there, there's a groove and a dot. Now, before you take the pump off, you obviously make sure your engine's turned round and it's at 22 degrees before top dead center. There's no timing offset on these old engines. This is like normal stuff. So 22 degrees before top dead center, making sure you're on the correct orientation. Take your pump off and that line should line up. And when uh, Tristan's taken this one off, you can see his, his does. So that's good. So he's going to put this one back on. Now, what I do when I build these pumps, just underneath that bung there, um, I also put another little dot marker so that if you're confused or you're not sure where the pump's been set, you can take that bung out and check. And if that dot is there, that's start of injection. So that helps you to set it up. So he's going to put this pump on now. We'll get this all set up. Let's re it and see what it makes. Right. New injector pump is on. Ooh, a little bit of belt squeak on the old power steering pump now. Just building it up into fourth gear for the uh, for the run. <laughs> it made quite a lot more power. That's what it made before, and that's what it makes now. <laughs> and the results are coming in. What are we going to have? So we previously had 56 at the wheels. And now we've got 100 at the wheel. Wow, and that was stone cold. Engine went from 82 to 127, torque went from 108 to 148. Nice. Right, let's warm it up and do more. So second run, we're gonna do a smoke check. We've got this pump set really low. Interesting little. <laughs> oh my god! 132. That's a big gain, he's really going to feel that. That's a strong, strong gain for an old car. Question is, ladies and gentlemen, shall I turn up that fuel screw and see what happens? Crowd says yes. <laughs> Crowd says yes. Okay, I'll get the 10 mil spanner. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, you see, the problem is 10. Ooh, oh my God. How am I supposed to find a spanner in this? That's ridiculous. Oh, amazing. Take a spare nut, and then, with the spare nut, you can lock the position of your original nut. 
and then you can put it right back to where it was saved so the customer doesn't blow the engine up. This pump's a 120 max. Fuel turned all the way up, it's run number four or five or something with the new pump. Let's do this. Just go steady up one, two, three, and then in fourth, give it the old what for. Oh, she's singing, bless her. of our 617 pump upgrade. Um, this was uh, an NA 617, it's had an STT turbo kit fitted. Um, originally with its 5.5 mil pump, it made, the red is before and the yellow is after, so it made 58 at the wheels and 108 pounds feet. And after with our custom pump, bearing in mind nothing else has been changed, just the custom pump, um, we've gone 111 wheel horsepower, so nearly double, and 155 pounds feet, which is like a massive difference. And not only that, but if you look at the actual, uh, the two figures, you know, it's, you've got like this huge kind of wave of power. Also, you can notice that the boost is, is much higher now because it has the fuel to mix with the air to create that chain effect to make more boost. So nothing mental, just 1.3 bar. Um, but before we were struggling to make 1.1 with the stock pump. So a really big increase for not a lot of, uh, of outlay. Uh, and obviously this STT turbo kit is similar to the turbo kit you'd get on a normal turbo 617. So you'd be able to expect similar sorts of gains with a turbo 617 by adding one of these pumps. And um, yeah, and also shorter injector duration. So expect a little bit more fuel economy may have a little bit more um, sort of diesel noise at idle because of this, the shorter, sharper injection. Um, but apart from that, really, really good gains. Let's have a look, I'll show you around the engine bay. This obviously is a very old kit. Uh, it has a, a little intercooler mounted there. Still has the original oil cooler. Um, air intake is not exactly in the best place, but um, it's been there for a very long time, and it is original STT. There's a little marking on the cast in there. Um, and yeah, one thing to notice is note as well when you're doing this, these hats uh, sat on a silicon hose. And sometimes people put one Jubilee clip on and not the other. And the hat's normally bolted down, so you wouldn't even know. But in this occasion, the hat's not bolted down, it does have both clips. So it's worth just going round and making sure that all the, because there's lots of little um, nipple points underneath that none of them are, uh, are basically exposed and leaking boost. This one's been capped on the back there. So there you go, and there's a, a look at the pump. All nice and neat, sat in there, nice and clean. Um, and I'm really impressed with the results. So, one, two, three with nearly double the power, for a day's work, and a good pump. See you later, guys.